Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys, I see that a lot of you already are sending me challenges. So that means you want to get destroyed early. <laughs> Hello, guys. Happy, happy to see you here. Let's get to it. All right, I think I got already a few challenges. What did I do? No, we're good. All right, we're playing as black. Let me make sure that we're good to go. Well, welcome aboard <laughs> and send, uh, feel free to send a challenge, okay? So let's play D5, why not? Hello, hello, hello. Well, you have my username and I'm on chess.com. So just send me a challenge. Search me up on chess.com, send a challenge and we're good to go. Now this game we're playing what? We're playing three, two. Okay, so we have the increment. Mm -mm. Yeah, guys, send any time control you want. Five, three, ten, one. We're just trying to have a good time here. Ooh, Paraguay, true, true, true that you're in Paraguay. Nice. Well, glad to see, glad to hear that it's sunny. <laughs> All right, if you read the description, I left something for you, okay? Morning, morning, Roberto, do you have gas already or no? Nothing yet? You know, I was uh, joking with you last time that you asked, and I'm like, okay, it's gonna be back to normal in a few days. I almost ran out of gas. I had to yesterday in the morning, I called, I found the gas station that had some, and then I had to go there. All right, nothing crazy so far. Just trying to develop my pieces, strike the center. But it's not gonna be easy. Now, nah, send any, anything you want, guys. Anything you want. Just don't make it 15:10, okay? 10 minutes, fine. But 15:10, it's gonna take too long. Right, we gotta strike the center. E5, not so simple. Let's play C5. Maybe rook E8 was unnecessary. Ahí vas a ver, acá vas a ver, déjame ver si lo pongo más. No, yo creo que está bien. Mi username, que es Rob Ram, los primeros tres letras de mi nombre, de nombre y del apellido, en chess.com y me envías un, me envías un desafío, ¿no? Send it, send it, send it, send it. If you send it, I'm gonna take it. Even if that's all we do today. You deserve it. <laughs> okay guys, my opponent is telling me that was a misclick. Let me do this. If you see this weird move, I'm just trying to, I told them to put it back and then we do it again. Okay, so now he could do whatever he meant to do. <laughs> All right. No worries, no worries, my friend. Uh, we could get a game anytime you want. You know, you have priority. <laughs> okay, so can we do anything good here or not really? Whoop, this is hanging. This is hanging. All right, we gotta play like this. I know, all good, all good, all good. Happy Saturday, guys, happy Saturday. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just taking challenges, so send them over. Guys, you know, I've, I've said it here many times, when you come across people like that, you just ignore them and that's it. People could say whatever they want. If it affects you or not, that only depends on you. So I just made the video because, I mean, what he did was wrong. I mean, at least respect. And I, I also don't know how to, how to chase that calm deal, deals with those reports and things like that. So I just wanted to leave that clear. With that done, that's it. We just keep on going. Enjoy life. And who knows, maybe he's going through a tough time and... It was a one-time thing, but that that's not our concern. But yeah, you would expect someone, uh, I mean, he's not that, I mean, he's pretty much sure already, like he's probably in his 40s or 50s. So that's not, I wouldn't expect him to, to react like that. But, you know, that's life. I have to, I have to. I'm going to, little by little. Commands free, old school. All right, we got 20 seconds. Hey, okay. guys we got that one well played by my opponent i have to say I, I was not comfortable at all there but time pressure is just too much so if you feel like you want to do five five or longer that's fine too okay all right look, look i'm going to show you here i'm just taking like this is the first one i have and i'm gonna take it let's do it mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, Sicilian, you know how we deal with the Sicilian. The three, let's bring them into our territory. Sicilian players, if you ever study an opening, Sicilian, Caroquian, French, Pierce, whatever it is, you want people to go into the main land that you really studied, that you really prepared. When you play the three, it's like, come on. <laughs> so now they come into a line that we have prepared ourselves, that we're familiar with it. So let's see how it goes. All right, Bobby Fisher style, lesson 78, 79, no, no, lesson 79, 80, okay. Ding, ding, ding. All right, I'm still rooting for ding, guys, so you know, so that you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that's, that's trouble, that's trouble. All right, so you see, we got to the middle game safely. And again, we are playing what we typically get, what we know. That's it. We say thanks to Bobby, to Mr. Fisher. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look, we have, we actually have him present. And now this is gonna get interesting. Now it's getting more like a King's Indian defense with color reversed. My knight goes to c4. I wanna play a4 to prevent b5. Mm, all right. Dale, perfecto, perfecto. Perfecto. 
I am accepting anything, guys. Anything you send, we make it work. And remember, today is just for us. If you have questions, ask. If you want to play some games, we do it. And hopefully the music is not so bad today. All right, I don't want him to land on E3. On D4, I'm sorry. Oh no no but I'm I'm too guys I'm not I'm not that good on the time pressure I'm not that good um, I mean the mistakes were there luckily for me my opponent made more mistakes than I did but the mistakes were there Okay this move has to be interesting at least I don't know if it's if it's good but at least we have to say interesting Muy bien muy bien y tú qué tal Okay so I think now this is an interesting idea if you played these openings and this is for from the uh, from the peers defense that I typically get it but I was able to apply it here too they take and now when the knight leaves we're pinning that pawn on the bishop I mean in this case it works nicely because they don't even have time to do this I'm hitting this guy too so there's a lot going on I could also take haha <laughs> come on man can't I just play a normal chess game do what I typically do Keep it simple. Probably taking the rook was enough, but I'm not even gonna think on, on taking that with the check. Ah, uh, nice movies actually. I don't remember a lot about um, well, Pawn Sacrifice, I don't think I've seen it. Uh, I saw the, the the Queen of Cadwy, I think is how you pronounce it, and it was nice. I saw it on the plane, and it was, it was nice. All right, guys, this is not... Okay, I think this is going to be good. Cha, cha, cha. Hmm. Hmm, what if I do this, this... <laughs> this, this, this. This cannot be good. I'm thinking if I just take Queen H4 is coming in, and if King G1 they're hitting me with a uh, actually discover on the Queen. Let's take it. Probably Bishop, we're gonna analyze this game to see how, how well we played, but probably instead of taking on d5, it was just collecting on f2. Eh, we'll see. Okay, that's a different check. That's a different check, actually. Okay, so we go back. My plan was to this check, I was just gonna run away, all the way. But now this is good, now this is good. Okay, rook e6 or bishop g5. Just send a challenge, guys. Just send a challenge. Taking the queen? What do you mean taking the queen? Could I have? Well, didn't see it. If that's the case, I could. I didn't see it. I don't want to get too greedy here, but... I'm winning by a lot now, so I just gotta make sure I don't get checkmated. Okay, pieces developed.
You want to do that, guys? Let me know in the comments, if, in the chat, if you want to do a quick tournament. We could do a tournament, an arena of, of one hour or something like that. Uh, yeah, why not? Queen C8 would be interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Queen C8 was interesting for, for certain. Okay, we just take. All right, we got that one. We got that one. We got that one. Okay, let's take a look at this game. Let's see how, how good or how bad it was. Um, okay, friends, 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 friends. Okay, so look, look at this. This was at 70% 70, 70 accuracy. And let me see exactly Okay, here it takes the... F okay, so all of these we're familiar with. E5, we knew it was an inaccuracy. We took... Knight C4. Okay, why is that an... Um, let me see. In oh, Knight C4 is the top move. This is the thing with the computer. I don't know what's going on, but... They recommend this as the top line, and then inaccurate. Okay, Bishop G4. So, apparently just H3 right away. C3 was the second best move. F5, H3, here was the mistake. Oof, just kill him through the diagonal. Okay, we did this. Bishop H5. <laughs> I was so proud of this move, and it turns out to be a mistake. Still, 141, but there was something better. Queen B3, look, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. Queen, Queen F3 was killing it. Yep, yep, yep. We're taking on B7, or we're hitting them through this diagonal. Didn't see it. 95, ah, look at this. Go to g5, trying to get to e6. Okay, this was a blunder, and I feel like we should have just taken. I don't know, okay, we did the right thing. Bishop d5 is the only move, and then king f2. Okay, this was not good. 95, now what if queen h4? I was planning to just, okay, what happens if king e3? 95, I was just gonna keep running. C4, let's say I go D takes C4. I'll have Bishop G5, Bishop G6. All right, guys, not good. We're, we're really, really, really bad. Really, really bad. All right, so let me take a look here quickly. Eh, Cuba, Cuba. Estamos de, desde Cuba. Ya llevamos años acá en, en Estados Unidos, pero eh, Cuba. Yo soy de Cuba, mi esposa también. Nos conocimos acá, pero ambos de Cuba. Okay, let's do it. Okay, right, guys, next one that I have right here, Darío. If I read that right, Darío, let's do it. Okay, 1800. So, and what are we playing? 3 2, good. Okay, Darío, let's give you what nobody likes. Let's play some middle game, some weird middle game. Habla en inglés que en cubano no te entiendo muy bien. Guys, like always, I'm just taking challenges as they come in. I wish I could play all of you, but it's going to be tough. So try to come here with mainly to ask questions or if we get to play fine or try to get something from these games that we're playing. But more likely, most likely we won't be able to play. I won't be able to play all of you. All right. Um... Send it over, send it over. Focus on your class, learn, 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 and we'll be here. All right, same idea of A4 to put the knight on C4. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get checkmated over here. It might happen, it's happened, <laughs> but they don't have a lot of pieces coordinated to do that. And this king is, in the, is still in the center. All right, they're trying to prove me wrong, and they might. 
it just might. So it doesn't hurt to do this. Get ready. No, 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 it's not. Remember, don't freak out. A lot of us, when we see a situation like this, we just freak out. We're going to get checkmated. Especially if we're moving up the ladder now, um, we've, we get checkmated so often that we just get a little bit paranoid. Here, it comes down to attackers versus defenders. How many attackers do they have? These are the potential ones. Maybe they bring the knight over. I have already bishop, knight, rook, queen. Besides, that's um, more delicate if I didn't have counterplay, but this king is in the center, so I might get something. I might get something. See, my knight is already getting closer. This rook could act on that file. They were trying to incorporate the knight. And that's a different story. Then it's gonna be queen, rook, knight. All right. See, there's no attack now. This is gone. Queen and rook, there's no way they're gonna create an attack. No, playing around with it. If, if you look at the very first streams, they were really, really bad. Uh, and little by little, we tried to, to improve them. Okay, so is this gonna help? It might help. But just for the sake of improving the bishop, hitting that king, let's do it. Okay, we got the pair of bishops. Let's try to use it. Okay, who gets that file? Turns out it's gonna be more about the H file than the F file, but let's see. 111, okay, but we'll see, because the center is pretty much locked. Let's see if we can do something about those bishops. In the file they're gonna say no i know that but we gotta try hello 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 Let's see if we can do something here. <laughs> I have heard about them and I've, 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 I've used, I have tried to use so many of them. So yes, 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 yes. Oop, I was hoping for this. I was hoping for this. How do we get the most out of it? Ah, messed it up, I messed it up. I thought they were gonna come with this. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm, still can I, ah, did I have something better? No, I don't think so. All right, now we gotta deal with the really annoying night. No, oh, but maybe we're fine. Okay, if I do this, Good morning, good morning. Yeah, but it's so difficult. <laughs> Capablanca style. 
Guys, I only saw a few people interested uh, and we don't have a lot of time anyways left. So let's keep it like that today. I I've wanted to go back to doing the, the tournaments like we used to. So let's have let's have a stream where we just have a, a tournament. And but for today, let me see if I can survive. Let me see if I can survive. Okay, we gotta play C3. Hmm. In between move. I don't think I'm missing anything. Wait, wait, wait. Is this night hanging? What's going on? Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, where am I going? We don't know. Probably oop, we're gonna be here probably for uh, probably for another hour or so. Yep. Okay. How do we finish this? Well, let me push pawns. That's the best. Thing. That's what I know best. Just push pawns. See what happens. Too many pawns, guys. Too many pawns. <laughs> what would be the best way to finish this? Right, it was too much anyways, too much, too much. All right, we got that one. And look, I'm going, oop, how do I do this? Now I have a one minute here, then a 10 minute game. So let me take the one minute. There's no increment, not a lot of uh, education here, but. All right, what am I doing? Play fast, play fast. player let's chop it off okay I'll play okay I'm taking and then we'll see what happens. Same thing guys, without the queen, they're not gonna put us in checkmate. They just can't. We shouldn't be so concerned. Don't we have anything better here? There has to be checkmate somewhere. There's no checkmate. There's 
is no checkmate. Where's the checkmate? <laughs> All right, that was just, okay, we got that one. Nothing is educational, nothing educational there. <laughs> All right, um, okay, I had, a, I had a 10 minute. Okay, that was the, one, the next one. Let's do it. <clears throat> right, let's play five, see how that goes. I think that was 30, 32 moves. <laughs> no, 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 sabes, yo hace, cuando llegué, yo estuve en Cuba como por cuatro años, empecé a los 12, a los 16 vine para acá, y nada, ahí mismo, me dediqué, bueno, me enfoqué más en la escuela y tal, y me olvidé del ajedrez. Regresé al ajedrez, no sé ni cómo, vuelta a cagar la vida. Y nada, aquí estamos, me puse a enseñar y tal, pero no tengo... Quiero jugar más torneos, si sale algo de ahí, bien, pero, pero no, no es la aspiración. Is it the same dude? I'm just taking as it comes, guys. Look, like I always tell you, openings are not that important. Pick one that you like, that you enjoy. For whatever opening you pick, you're going to see elite players, strong players using it. So how bad could it be? Just make sure that you enjoy it, learn it. You're going to be fine. For me, it's been the pure defense, but many people prefer the French. Many people prefer the Carol can. And notice how whatever I play, I played E45, Rui Lopez. I ended up getting the same structure because I'm familiar with it. That's it. I try to stay out of theory, just play based on the ideas. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I just, it's just that when I look, I just pick up where I see it. Okay, this cannot be right. This knight needed to be taken. Now the knight leaves, and I think we're up a piece. I think we're up a piece. Not to mention there is a pin on this pawn, and we have 10 minutes. So important, guys, if you're playing with 10 minutes, you have time, don't play fast. Take your time. Hello, 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 Pakistan. <laughs> so you have played already in FIDE tournaments, all right? Guys, that's a different story. And we've said it here many times, when you play a game over the board, that's a real deal. If you, if you have only played online, fine. But you'll see, when you, get to, when you get to a physical over the board tournament, it's a different story. In every way, in every way. All right. I'm winning already by a piece, so happy to trade pieces, get to an end game where I'm gonna have the extra piece. That's it. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, let me take here first. Ah, no, no, no. Knight G2 was better first. Take with the check, then you take the queen. But... Exactly. It's not a big deal now because... Hmm. It's not a big deal because we don't have queens and so on, but if we get to open this file, uh, I mean, like I had right now, rookie 8, and we're putting a lot of pressure down that file. All right, guys, this is checkmate. Roberto, you got it. King in the center, you get checkmated. You get checkmated. All right, I just took my next opponent. Let's play d4. We haven't played any d4s. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
there's, there's an e4 move here that is very, very interesting, but let's keep it simple. <laughs> Glad to see you, you're enjoying it. Notice that we're not doing anything extraordinary, no opening theory. We're just developing our pieces. Knights where they belong, the bishop belongs on f4. g5 was interesting, but they have this knight e4, which we don't like. So e3 to improve the other bishop. That's it. The principles of the opening, that's all we're doing here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Now, yeah, you know what? No, no, we're good. We're good, we're good. No, I have them scheduled. Like I have, I have them in my plan, but I haven't finished them, so I can't. I can't yet. There's a lot going on now, guys. I have a lot going on. Um, I had to finish another project this weekend, so that's why I'm posting this more. Like yesterday, yesterday I posted one that was pretty short, because um, I'm trying to finish something else, and then I go back to. Well, I have something else coming up after, so. But yeah, they are in the oven. They are in the oven. Okay, so time to castle. Mm -mm. Look, the only person that could say that is my mod. My moderator, she already went over the first 200 lessons. She knows them by heart. So she could claim she could be asking for more. Rest of you, I'm pretty sure you barely remember what we talked about. All right, uh, they move the bishop now. I'm gonna take this opportunity to take. They gotta move it again. Fine. They said they don't care. Hmm. <laughs> uh, guys, like I said before, just ignore them. I already made my point and there's evidence that I was not cheating, so, but that's it. Now, what, maybe he's going, like I said, maybe he's going through a lot. Who knows? Um, I'm a, I already know, I know who I am. I know I didn't cheat. That's more than enough. So we carry on with our lives. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, what are we playing? We're playing 3 2. No, we're good. We're good. No, guys, we're doing chess.com. Chess.com. Did I say that? I mean, I could do it with, uh, like I did, remember when I did the interview to, um, uh, when I did the interview to Avetik and these other masters, um, we could do something like that with any of you, but you guys are afraid. You guys don't want to get on it. It would be interesting just to get your perspective, get your more details about what you're doing, what's working for you, what's not. So we could definitely arrange that. All right, we take, because we don't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a pin on that pawn. We're supposed to add more pressure to it. That's, and, and look, if we pay attention to this game from the beginning, in the opening, we controlled the center, we developed the amount of pieces we castled. Now we're just paying attention to the simple principles that we have learned. There's a pin piece, we add more pressure to it. Now, they left, we got a fork. Simple tactics, simple chess. De originalmente de Cuba. De Cuba, de Cuba. But right now, I dare, I dare to say we're better. Okay, Roberto, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send you an email and we could do something like that. It doesn't have to be anything too long. Maybe we could review some of your games too as we do that. See now here I pretend like I'm like I know what I'm doing and I'm considering other moves, but in reality I'm desperate to get 
get that rook and then see what happens. <laughs> All right, we take it and we find out later. Okay, a3. I don't want him to take, but also I'm getting ready for a cheap trick right here. Correcto. Llevo ya 15 años viviendo por acá. What's happening where? Your games? Nah. <laughs> of course, guys. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. All right. Let me play C5 mainly because, again, if I'm already winning, I'm ahead of material, I want to simplify the game. That's it. Get rid of everything. If I get rid of the queens and these rooks, I'm left with rook versus bishop. It should be pretty easy to finish, but we'll see. Good morning. Nice to see you here, George. What's going on? Happy Saturday. Uh, all right, I just want to open up the file. I have rooks, so I need open files. Oh, protected pass pawn, always nice. Let me play four. Look at this. If we manage to trade rook, I mean queens, we could say the game is over. Oh, thank you. Hmm. I'm so tempted to just take and take, but you know what? Let's do this the right way. Let's uh, let's push the <laughs> let's push the pawn. I feel like we should prepare it better, but I'm just gonna push. I'm just playing everyone, guys, accepting the challenges as they come in, and that's it. Protect the pass pawn. Careful, I don't want him to do a fork and get this pawn. I don't want him to go to a4 either. Also important that we put our pieces on dark squares, guys. If my opponent has a bishop, we want our pieces on the opposite color to that bishop. All right, we got that one. Now, let me take a quick look here. Because this one, my opponent played really well, and then at the end, just that fork got him in trouble. All right, look at this, oof, this is really bad. Um, so again, control the center, develop the pieces. Bishop b5. I know, maybe not good. Okay, was there anything better? Okay, let me accept friend request. Okay, what was the better move here? Knight b ah, knight b5, of course. Now they gotta play knight a6, if I'm correct, and then c3. So there you go. If you play this opening, when you review the games, make notes, guys. Make notes. And you're not going to forget. Next time, when you're in a situation like this, which is pretty pretty standard the way the black pieces are playing, you're going to remember knight b5 is more energetic. Of course, if I'm doing this for myself, I'm going really deep and maybe play some games from this position afterwards. So anyways, we played bishop b5, knight e5. See, pin piece. Pin piece, we add more pressure to it. Then castle take on c5 so this one again they move the bishop now i'm gonna take to make them move the bishop again queen e2 mm, okay let me see um i looked into this but i didn't like the fact that they're putting pressure now through the b file um, rook d1 okay that g4 again if you play this you gotta pay attention to this g4 g4 and then h4 C4, yeah, 97. After this, evaluation is just, yeah, it's too much, too much. Now, let me just see, finally, C5 was good, just trade, trade. You see, we're making the right moves because we understand what, what we want. We want that end game where we have the rook versus bishop, so simplification makes it easy. E4, okay, here, that was good. Okay, rook F5, did that make any sense? Look, top move, guys. 
rook takes f5. That's it, easy win. c6 not bad, but rook f5 was indeed the best move. All right, let's leave it here and let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Now, same thing I'm gonna show here. I'm taking the next one from Canada. Let's do it. And e4. Haha, <laughs> Pierce defense. Right, let's play d4. All right, so this, if you followed lesson 96, I think we talked about this, you should know how to handle it. Let's see. All right, it seems like you went over that lesson. Okay, okay. Or maybe you knew it from before, who knows? I have, I have. Also, <laughs> also on a plane, also on a plane. Okay, guys, let me know if the audio is delayed or not because I can definitely adjust it. I know that Twitch, from time to time we have that. On YouTube, it should be fine. Uh, wait, audio, let me know, feedback on the audio. Mm. Mm. No, no, I was doing, I, I meant it, but guys, you know what? If they cheat, they cheat. And my point was that if they cheat, then we waste a lot of that time. But again, I know that a lot of you, I did it, and for me, that's the way to go. But a lot of you really enjoy the longer time controls. So it's not fair. So if someone comes along and they cheat, it's on them. I wasted the time, that's it. But I know that a lot of you don't really enjoy the five minute or the three minutes. So let's do it. Let's do it. Anyways, I already committed an amount of time to do this, so it's up to you guys how we use it. Um, this E5 is just a matter of timing it right. Am I timing it right right now? Cha, cha, cha. No, I don't think I'm timing it right. There's only one way to find out, where is she? Let's get her. <laughs> Okay, seems to be fine, thank you. No, I know, I know, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Guys, look, uh, and Vasil, you know this better than me. You should know this better than me. You will never, ever please everyone. <laughs> never, ever. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're doing the best we can here. Okay, D takes E5, D takes E5. Okay, candidate moves, D takes E5, D5, or E5. We look into each one of them and then we compare to see which one we like. Mm, no, there's something really annoying. Look, there's a move here really, and remember I played this as black, so it's easier for me to understand what they're trying to do. Um, not only are they, are they putting pressure over here, but if I did, let's say, d5, they have the annoying c4. I gotta take, they take on e4. And then this is just a disaster. So this is out of the equation. I need to compare between e5 and d takes e5. e5 it is. No, oh, we do it, we did it, we did it. No, sabes, eh, esta apertura la enseñé en la clase número 51 porque necesitaba algo para ustedes sencillo que les permitiera llegar al medio juego y entonces enfocarte en lo que de verdad importa, que es el medio juego. Pero idealmente de ahí hacemos una transición a la, a la regular que la aprendimos en la clase 69 porque la checa en muchas versiones ya está un poco refutada, ¿no? Es muy difícil que conseguir algo. A medida que subas de nivel te van a castigar mucho Y, con, y también siempre juegas los mismos esquemas, entonces no aprendes mucho ajedrez y un poco aburrido también, entonces si aprendes lo básico es fácil después hacer la transición a la, a la regular 
Y entonces ahí sí tienes más, uh, un poco más de, de dinámica, ¿no? Así que no, no he hecho mucho enfoque en esa porque la idea es que la aprendan, la jueguen por un tiempo y después se vayan a la otra con que están jugando ahora las negras acá. Entonces, con eso dicho, creo que we gotta take your guys. We gotta take this. We gotta take. And then, let's open up the king. He's in the center. You know what? I just played that. Maybe the other rook was better. We don't care about this. No, we do care. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, mo uh, modern tongue, guys. Nothing like modern tongue. So, mira, si eres un jugador agresivo, creo que. ¿En, en qué, qué nivel estás más o menos? ¿Qué, qué rating tienes? Para tener una idea, porque si eres, si estás, un, si estás avanzado, avanzado, bueno, tienes que irte con las sicilianas esta súper complicada. Si no es el caso, hay una, una apertura que a las personas no les gusta mucho, pero creo que te va, que te va a ayudar. Uh, que dice the fork, que es la escandinava. Muy interesante, es muy interesante. No, ahí, escandinava. Like, vete con la escandinava. Si quieres algo bien agresivo y que tus oponentes no están muy familiarizados, la escandinava. Sería E4, haces D5 y se complica. Deja ver si puedo jugar una escandinava para acá, acá para que la veas. Now, here guys, I'm, I know I'm risking the this, right? But they're giving me the pair of bishops. It's very unlikely they're going to attack my king. So we should be okay. Hey, hey. Focusing on developing their pieces. That's a good call. Now I like this move because I take this away from. I mean, it, I was I was okay with it, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to be okay with that. So I'm improving the knight, putting pressure already, and I don't think they have many choices. If the knight leaves, I take on c5. If they take, which is what I want them to do, then I take back powerful bishop. Which should be okay. Now, I know that you might not like this. Every time you ask me about openings, I tell you, don't worry too much about openings. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, if you play, let's say you are an 1100 and you play an 1800 player, you could tell them to play any opening. They're going to get you in trouble. Most, of, most likely, they're going to get you in trouble. Why? Because they know more chess. They know more middle game, more tactics. That's what really matters. Okay, um, 23, but they take over here. I mean, I'm taking on C5. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but, uh, the croqueta opening, the potato gambit, they're good, but you gotta be careful. Now the Dutch, look the Dutch, I've never been a fan and I know many people don't like it, but then when you see Nakamura play it and he gets really nice games, you're like, wow, I gotta play it. But you know, he makes it look good because the guy is a genius when it comes to middle game and end game. So again, that's what we need to focus. All right, let's get away from this pin. We don't like it. And of course we put pressure on that pawn. You know, uh, what I do with my students, I just show them games with both and they pick the one they like the most. A lot of them pick the French, a lot of them play the Caracan, a lot of them play the Sicilian. Um, some of them play the, you know, the other openings are not as popular, like the Scandinavian, uh, the Pierce defense. A lot of them pick the Pierce defense because they see me play it and they go for it. Especially the older students, they want something easier like that. But again, guys, There's not such a thing as the best opening. It comes down to your personality, what you enjoy the most. That's what really matters. All right, so my rooks could be activated through open files 
or you could open the file for them and you don't even have to move them. So let's see if we can get that done. Nope. Now pay attention to what changed. The C file is open, now we're going to use it. <laughs> Look, if the, it depends who you ask. If you ask people, they're gonna say Pierce Defense, one of the worst. Again, it, it's worked for me, I like it. But again, it's mainly because I've spent time studying the middle game and the end game. always gonna get the same answer it's your choice it's your choice it depends look in the description or well, I'm that's on YouTube if you go to my YouTube channel lesson 102 you're gonna see it's a training plan if you stick to that training plan there's no reason for you not to improve so that's what you need guys be consistent get on tra get on a training plan Anything you do is going to be like that. Any sport, you got to get on, on a training plan, do it consistently for a long period of time. Some people are going to get results faster, but for certain, you're going to get results. All right, so F6. The moment we activate the pieces, tactics are going to be in the air. Tactics are going to be in the air. It must be, hey, look. Um, it must be because I don't even know it. Oh, Damiano, wait, yeah, Damiano, yeah, yeah. We had a video on that one. I I read Domino. Um, cha cha cha. How about this? I just don't want this bishop to open up. Hey, what about this? Okay, cha cha cha. Rook D1. Does this does this make sense? I don't think it does. Can the move, guys, again, rook c7, queen a7, queen c5, pawn takes, e6. We gotta do a quick scan. Let me see, do we have increment? No increment. Now, this line, I don't like it, because they might take, we had a lesson on two rook versus queen. So this is also always a possibility. Knight f1 on the move, bishop a6. Not good, it's just, it cannot be good. Okay, let me stop wasting time. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, 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 cha. Okay, I gotta go with this. It's just that I don't have time to complete to get into any to get into any complications. Probably queen here was better. Rook c7 I liked, followed by queen a7 or the other way around. But I just don't have the time to think. Okay, now this is looking good. Now this is looking good. I just need to really bury this bishop. If that bishop gets activated. It's gonna be annoying, very annoying. Okay, they heard me. <laughs> okay, let's get you out of the way. Nice to have you here, nice to have you here. Look at that, I didn't even see it. That's why you don't get into complications on the time pressure. That's the why. Yeah, we got checkmated. Oh man, that would have been painful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a present and then you calculate, calculate and it goes away.
tactics, tactics, tactics. They shouldn't have let, I didn't want their bishop to get activated. They shouldn't have left my knight to get activated. Uh oh, that was a blunder. That was, oh, they wanted the queen to leave. Nah. I was threatening this anyways. Okay, what's going on here? Got that one. We got that one. We got that one. All right, let's play another F4. Look, this is an opening that nobody likes. I'm okay with it. I'm just. I just want to get to the middle game. And if I play it enough, I'm gonna know more about the typical middle games than my opponents. So we're playing a 1900. Let's see how he handles it. Okay, this is three minute, no increment. So I need to play faster. bad my bad let's play that one let's play that one okay what was i supposed to do here No, yeah, yeah. Scandinavian is only against e, it's only against e4. Es solo contra el e4. Entonces tienes que tener otra apertura contra d4. Por eso que yo juego lo, esto de la Pierce y la King's Indian Defense porque es lo mismo. El mismo sistema funciona contra todo. Okay, cha cha cha. In between move, eliminating the defender of the pawn. So for all we know right now, we're up a piece. Now I think we got that one too. Well, I think we got that one because this one was just a fair trade. Now we get the pawn back and this bishop is trapped. <laughs> okay, now the only way I'm going to lose this game is if I fall behind in development. I need to develop quickly. I'm up a piece. Okay, fully developed. Now, London, London video, we, we have one, it's lessons, uh, I wanna say 58. I think it's 58. But that was mainly, guys, we had a, sesh, a, a few lessons where we talked about, which really, learn how to play opposite side castling attack right when you're castled on opposite sides and i recommended the london to play like that develop quickly castle to the opposite side and then we had like three lessons back to back teaching you how to attack if your opponent has this pawn structure if they have the classical pawn structure what to do in, the, in every step and then we had another lesson lesson 62 where it was just me playing three minute games castling opposite side all the time so that's the only time we've talked about the london Okay. Simplification. I'm already winning by a piece. Simplification. That's it. I don't need anything else. Don't get fancy. And more importantly, don't get checkmated. Okay. They said I'm not going to trade. And I respect that. 
Now we gotta start playing faster. But how much faster? Okay, let's get that file. I have a feeling they're gonna push the pawn. If I'm black, I wanna... If I'm black, I wanna complicate the game. Yeah, I knew they wanted that. Which should be okay. We defend it. We defend it. We defend it and we get away from the pin. So you see, if I'm black, they're doing the right thing. Complicate the game. Try to complicate the game. And it's interesting, they cannot even take and get the pawn because we take with check and they're forced to trade the queen too. If they trade the queen, that's it. There's no counterplay at all. Okay, they didn't see it. Good for me. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna get checkmated. I don't wanna get checkmated. Yeah, did it too late. Did it too late. Mm -mm. Simplification. Guys, that's what happens when you don't put the increment. Last moves are just a disaster. Well played by my opponent. You got that bishop trapped early in the game, and it's just difficult to come back, come back from that. Um, all right, next game. I got bad tactics from Brazil. I think we've played before, definitely. All right, 2100. We're playing black. Can you see any defense? Exactly, 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 exactly. Meh, no, it is more like a defianquero line of the Kings in the defense. No, 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 not Kings in an attack. They just started with the fianquero, but then they played d4, c4. This is okay, I knew they could do that move, but now I'm forcing them to put their pawns on the same color as this bishop. So that bishop is not gonna be so powerful. Well, according to my theory. According to my theory. All right, let me play queen c7. Mira, eso nunca lo vamos a saber. Yo lo que le digo a mis estudiantes, que algunos se frustran con eso, es que si estás jugando ajedrez para mejorar, eso no te debe importar. Porque lo primordial es que cuando termines el partido, lo analices, veas los errores. Y nada, si estás jugando contra una computadora, excelente. Revisa los partidos, ve los errores y tal. Entonces, bueno, que de cada 20 personas te caiga un alguien haciendo trampas, te toca. Pero si lo haces para mejorar, está bien. Ahora, si lo estás haciendo para jugar y para subir el rating, es un poco más frustrante, ¿no? Pero sí, definitivamente yo recibo correos electrónicos o mensajes de chess.com. Oh, detectamos una persona haciendo trampas y te devuelven los puntos y tal. Eh, no sé por qué lo hacen, pero hay personas que lo hacen. Mm -hmm. 
pum, pum. Yeah, yeah, Vienna, Vienna. Now when we, when we play white, let's try to get the Vienna in. Okay, what are we playing here? Three minute game. Okay, what am I doing? Why am I taking so long? Okay, we gotta take. Am I falling for the same trap? <laughs> that might be the case. All right, let me focus because there was no increment. We gotta play fast. Okay, stay away from pins, important. Now this is about who plays faster. Forget about chess. <laughs> it's about who plays faster. Pins, pins, pins. Stay away from pins, guys. Stay away from pins or get pinned. All right, got that one. Got that one, got that one. Hello, hello, hello. Now we don't have setting rating. We've gotten I've gotten destroyed here by the way. If you're new to the channel, I've gotten destroyed here by I think that was a 400 who destroyed me once. So there's no such a thing, okay? Okay, so let me see. Five minutes. Do we have increment? Yeah, five two. Let's do it. Playing the same thing. Yeah, I, I, you know, ideally you play with the increment. You play with the increment. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, this one is not so bad. We got five minutes. We got some increment. We should be fine. Now, if I play c5, this is the Sicilian defense against the King Sicilian attack. But let me just play five. Nah, you know, never been, I said it before, it's never been my priority, guys. I played chess, I started when I was 12, and I always said, for my coach and many people that was already pretty old, I played for like four years. I came to the US, forgot about chess for like four or five years, and then got back into it. And then, you know, eventually I get more and more into it, but more in the in, on teaching mode, not to play tournaments. I'm playing more tournaments now, and if it leads to something great, but not top priority. Dale, perfecto. Acá estamos por un rato más y ya te digo, estoy aceptándolo como en el, or en el orden que venga, ¿no? Casi siempre solo puedo jugar con algunos, no con todos. Pero bueno, ahí seguimos intentando, ¿no? Um, okay, you know the plan. All of you who have been followed the the lessons guys on YouTube on lesson 91 we talked about the plan pawn structures aiming at the king side we should be trying to target the pawn in front of our most forward pawn so this is my most forward pawn I target this guy by playing f5 ataque indio correcto correcto You know, that, that's, the, that's the interesting thing. I played in Cuba, and back then, I'm talking about when I started, I'm talking about 2004, 2005. 
it was not easy to play rated, uh, rated tournaments. So you had to compete locally, go to another tournament um, that you play against different states and then you go to the nationals and then the nationals would be the rated tournament. So I got, what happened to me is I finally made it to a national, but you need like nine rated games to come out with a rating. So I think I played in that national like five, six people rated. Cha, cha, cha. And then I played another tournament eventually where I completed the, five, the nine games. But they reported me to FIDE with a different name because I, <clears throat> or a different last name, something like that. And, you know, I was in Cuba. There was no way for me to reach out to FIDE. You had to go somewhere in Cuba. That person would, go, would have to reach FIDE. And you know how it is. They never do it or they didn't do it. So I never came up with a rating. I got to the U.S. and I played a few, I think like two, three tournaments or four. And I quickly came out with 2200. Then I got to 2300, USCF. And that's how I got the National Master title. But it was because I had been for four years in Cuba just doing chess. That's it. I used to play soccer. I was in different sports. And I just said, you know what? Let me focus on chess. And I did that for four years. And it got me around that. I want to say that when I came to the U.S., I was easily around 2200. Um, but again, it was lots and lots of chess. Now the only thing about good, the only th good thing about this position is that our opponent is behind in development. That's temporary, we know that, but let's see. Okay, that was interesting. this but it's too annoying bum, 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 bum. Yeah, let's get out of the way let's get out of the way I think yeah candidate master I think you just a candidate to become a master. I think it's just that you're getting really close to the requirements to become a master. Good day, good day. <laughs> uh, Spanish, 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 Spanish. Well, if you're really close to becoming a, a master, yes. <laughs> All right, Hikaru. All right. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Um, all right. Uh, we used to get Magnus, but he's not coming by anymore. Now, can we do what I wanted to do? Yes. Let me move to night. This night hanging, not a good idea. I wanted to do this before, but Bishop D5 was just too annoying. <clears throat> and very important, the main reason why I wanted to go down this line is because my opponent is behind in development. These rooks are not connected. The king is a little bit exposed, so I'm, I'm okay with giving up a pawn. If they take here, I don't even care about the pawn. I just want to get to towards that game. No, 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 no. The strongest opponent I've played... <laughs> I, last week I played a pretty strong opponent, but uh, I think it was Aronian that I played him over the board here in Miami. And needless to say, he destroyed me effortlessly. <laughs> Mm 
My advice, stick to it, um, stick, keep that opening, and then if you want, you just uh, review games, master games with other openings, or even study other openings, but the idea, guys, is not that you replace what you have, the idea is that you keep adding more. So if you feel like you want to try something different, by all means, if not, save that time and use it to study middle and end game. Okay, so now we got the move that I really wanted to do. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, this is pretty attractive. Yeah. I wanted to do this and then make the queen go around a little bit. I mean, rookie eight, let me see. With rookie eight, queen f3, 92, it was pretty strong too. Pins, guys, pins, pins, pins. Now look, these pieces are just really, really feeling bad there all right we got that one and again just they gave it gave us the opportunity king in this king exposed lack of development we gotta take it all right now this is my biggest nightmare i'm playing a nine nine and 599 599 player three minute no increment these are the ones who get me in trouble <laughs> Saludos, saludos. Okay. Now this move mainly to avoid the the fried liver. Remember, um, I don't have a lot of experience playing this as black. I just stick to my peers' defense. I'm happy, so I don't know a lot of these positions. I don't want to get into complications. If my opponent beats me, it's because they know more chess, not be because I fell for a little trick. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Well, Roberto, you know the question. The question is, does it love you? That's the real question here. You know, we've had to, today, I think the, the main tactic has been, today's uh, stream, the theme is pins. Every game we have a pin. Although I just realized, nah, no, it's good. I was thinking, was this good? Connecting the rooks? Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, forks are also included. I don't even know what it is, I'm not gonna lie. If I see it, maybe I know the name, I, but maybe I know it by, by name, I doesn't ring a bell. Do, okay, look, I'm up two pawns. I'm gonna simplify the game, that's it. Simplification, if they checkmate me, fine, but they gotta work hard to checkmate me. Three pawns now. Now, all I'm thinking is, oh man, if I trade queen for queen, rook for rook, rook for rook, knight for bishop, it's a very easy end game. That's what I'm going for. My opponent should be trying to complicate the game because if they go to the end game quietly, they're done. Oof, simplification. Come over, my friend, come on over. John, 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 what's going on? Okay, they said they changed their mind. in the third move okay so hungarian on the well you know it's not it's not what we typically want right we want to activate our pieces as quickly as possible uh, simplification 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 oh i thought they want to play this
What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, doing some in person? <laughs> right, this is final simplification. I just need to get rid of the queens. Come on, let's do it. That's it. You see, from the moment we got the two pawns, that's it. Who's going to stop this guy now? Guys, I'm gonna take the last one and here we go. We've been here for a while, don't forget. Um, use the notification bell. Okay, Vienna. That way when we get live, you get notified. I know that we should have like a little schedule. I don't, like I just, I just do it when I have the time, I get on it and get it done. So it would be helpful if you have that. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Well, What's the, what's the story behind that? Okay, Vienna, we've talked about it lately a lot. Same idea, just get to the middle game safely, bring people into a territory. From here, we have two main plans. If they have played d5, we had a plan. They didn't, then we play h3, king h2, and we fight for this f4. Center is locked, so why not? Uh, I'm gonna play g4, no, 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 no. You know what, let's try something different. F4 should be fine here. But let me try Bishop G5. So, new idea. For those of you who play this opening, not new, but a little bit different. Okay, gonna take. Now, this is, this is even nicer because we're opening up the rook. But, what if I play G4, then F4? Hmm. G4 has to be played. Cha, 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 cha. And before with the knight here, I was a little bit concerned about this. Or even this first. Knight takes, queen h4. The def the, okay, let me go back. D5 plan is, let's say they have played knight f6 and then d5. Now, we had a lesson, guys, on it. If you go to this channel, you're gonna see the thumbnail is orange. I'm gonna show you now in a moment. But uh, I, I explained how to play if they do one or if they, if they do the other one. Then I made another video where I played every beginner engine on chess.com using that opening. So you get more um, information. Okay, this is pretty, pretty interesting. But F4, I like it too. F4, let's do it. Hey, 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 how are you? Nice to see you here. not we talked about this today pins spins, spins. let's be prophylactic get out the way now those of you who are new to this and you feel like oh the white king is a little bit exposed imagine this bishop were a pawn if this were a pawn you have one pawn on g2 one pawn on h3 you're gonna feel pretty good about that okay so the bishop is acting as a bishop but also as a pawn defending the king Well, congrats, congrats, and you're you, you only getting started. 
we're only getting started. Um, Ooh, tactics. Fork, fork, fork. <laughs> Congrats. Let's kick you out of here kick you out of here and again guys i'm not doing anything extraordinary all of these ideas we've seen them before we've talked about these so again it's bringing your opponents into your territory get to the middle game now if you get to the middle game and you're not able to spot a simple fork that's a different story and that's what i tell a lot of my students they get so obsessed with opening traps and openings that they don't really put in the time into the middle game so you could get very nicely out of the opening but then you miss things like this and I've said it before, most of you who are still moving up the ladder below 13, 1400, most of your games in the first 20 moves, someone blunders a piece and we're still not being able to deal with that. So we need to improve that. All right, C4, maybe too much? Nah, 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 it's not too much. Just get out of here, get out of here. And remember what, remember what I've told you, if you're up a piece, simplification you're up upon simplification that's it you cannot go wrong with simplification um, all right let me do this connect the rooks mm -hmm. now the same thing i told you before if i trade my rooks for their rooks my queen for my queen knight for knight i'm going to be left with the extra bishop it should be very easy to finish so with that in mind we trade, we trade, we trade. Nope, they don't want it. Now, c5 is an interesting move because if I get rid of this pawn, however it is, by them taking or advancing, I get a protected pass pawn. Okay. They couldn't care less about my pass pawn. Okay, how about this? Check, check. Simplify with me, simplify with me. Simplification, nothing more. This is attractive, but. Hmm. Oh, hanging, hanging, hanging. All right, guys, we got that one. I'm going to leave it here. Let me know if you have any final questions. Again, oh, let me actually show you. Um, let me see if I can show you. Just one second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, what's going on here? All right, so those of you who are interested on this opening, uh, what am I doing? Videos, All right, so it's the one with the orange thumbnail. So let's find you, okay, this one. So this is best opening with be uh, for beginners, right? So after a lot of feedback from you who already learned it, um, we go over the two main plans that Black could choose. And then here, I'm just playing every single bot using that opening, okay? So that's that. Let me see if there's any other question. Vienna, Vienna. Glad to see that you're still playing it. You're still enjoying it. <laughs> you got it, guys. Thanks for being here, like always. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Look, I play it against anyone. Again, uh, if you're playing, uh, I don't know, you're playing a grandmaster, they're not gonna afford, like maybe they're gonna give you a good competition, it's gonna be difficult to get an edge, that's fine. But for the rest of us that we're not playing at the elite level, it should be great. Actually, I've said it before, uh, I think in the candidate um, report actually played it and he won with it. The same plan, right? So just focus on your middle game and end game. Then you could play any opening you like. You too, guys. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. <laughs> doing great, doing great. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Well, Ding is one of those players that I think he could play whatever he wants. He could play H3. He could have played H3 on the very first move. Doesn't matter. Um, I just want you guys to consider, just put yourself for a second in this guy's shoes. Just being in, playing this match, uh, a lot of pressure, um, a lot of lines to, who knows what their preparation was. Like sometimes, I have a tournament coming up and I start to review my brush up on my opening lines and I feel like I'm not memorizing anything. There's so much to, to learn. Imagine these guys, they're preparing for the world championship. So there's a lot of pressure. I feel like if we were treating it, if we were treating this as any other match, he would do much better, but that's where the psychological part comes in. So anyways, H3, again, he could play anything he wants. <laughs> Sri Lanka, nice. Alright guys, peace, stay put and enjoy your weekend, okay?